This is where it started and this is where it ends. <laughs> This, this album is so good. For our call up, our first call up, ladies and gentlemen, just back from Europe, now racing in the United States, racing for EM Education, Cana Dale. Are you generally known as a, as a very strong rider, a fast rider, one for the sprints, one for the climbs? Are you a sprinter? Are you a climber? What would your reaction to that be? She has 73 national titles on Olympian. Ladies and gentlemen, without further ado, wear a new national champion's jersey. Corinne the Love Baby. Yeah, I mean, I just like to call myself a bike racer. I just race my bike. Nothing special yet, I guess. I always say that I'm just a bike racer. And, you know, what we do is we get to the line first. That's what I feel like I, I do the best in, is I figure out my way to get there first. First race when she was what? 10? 11? Red line classic. So many medals, so I decided to put it in a jar. <laughs> <laughs> and there's some more that I don't know where to put them. And then before you came, I kind of organized the jerseys because it's all scrunched here at and the bottom. And that's not all 74. <laughs> She's like, my God, how busy this kid. Look, this is 2008. I'm like, this is in one year. <laughs> I'm like 74 titles. I, I mean, it's cool with me if you want to rest. I would. <laughs> I will miss watching her. I mean, in live stream, I make sure I watch. I mean, the time difference is hard, but I will wake up really early just to watch her. And then I'll be cheering on live stream. <laughs> this is, I still have it. Her first race oh, jersey. Oh, from the picture. The infamous jersey. Because <laughs> nothing fit her. She, so, she was so tiny back then. And this still was loose on her, believe it or not, when she was 10, 12. <laughs> I can't believe it's here. <laughs> I've had a lot of different lasts. I think I had my, my last race in Europe. It was really great for me and the cycling community to have an, a last race in the U.S. as well. Can't let them try to like drop me in the first 10 laps. I don't think it'll be possible though. I've done this for a very long time, so I think uh, I'm also looking forward to now I have to do this for, I guess, again. Tank, you're blocking the sidewalk. These bad boys have been going strong for at least three years. Same pins I've been using for at least three years. I have a few black ones that I like to use. And the rest are like more of a silver, but I mean, they look brand spanking new, but I've used them for a long time. And uh, they come from America. That's why I think they're so strong and I keep them. But I mean, look at the strength on these puppies. 
when you retire from cycling, that'd be like a cool pass down gift to someone is My to like pins. give them your pins. It'd be like a generational pass down. <laughs> You know? Yeah. <laughs> like, like, like. Uh, I'm gonna save for my kids. Uh. <laughs> it is a little bittersweet for sure, but I know it's time and uh, it's just nice to close it out at a crit in the Stars and Stripes. Just wanna to celebrate and put on a good show. Um, there you go. She's a summer baby, so all her birthdays are fun. Cool party. It's so much fun, like when we go to her big races, then we'd be in the RV. We were a camping family from day one, so it was always us, the motorhome, and just enjoying nature. It was always a, a family affair, for sure. We were always outdoors, camping, riding bikes. I clearly remember she's born seeing her dad riding his Tuli mountain bike in the beginning. And my dad was always on any set of two wheels, whether it be motorcycle or dirt bike. He was racing downhill mountain bike. And this is when he used to do motocross, and that's Corinne. <laughs> Enough times uh, he got hurt and then he got into road cycling. Corinne on the piggyback. He got a tandem with my mom and then eventually I wanted to give it a try and then I got on the back of the tandem. Yeah, at her very young age, me, and her dad. We signed up with this tandem ride, like a century ride. At that point, I was eight or nine years old, doing 100 miles <laughs> with my dad on the back of the tandem. And then eventually I wanted to do it on my own, and then we got my own road bike. Eventually, we can't catch her anymore. Okay, I'm here running with my parents today, trying to do a little interview. Okay, so who pedals more? I, I do. <laughs> I just loved it. I really enjoyed being able to, able to pedal on my own and challenge myself. Her dad used to take her on group rides in Southern California, and if you've ever done a group ride in Southern California, you know everyone treats it exactly like a race, and she's been doing those since she was 12. Dad was always coach, very much so a driving force to Corinne's competitiveness and her determination to get across that line first. And he, he told me too, if you're gonna do something, you gotta be the best at it. At a very young age, she's very competitive. I remember when she was in kindergarten that the teacher was, do you know Corinne is very athletic? She beat the boys all the time. One day she just said, I wanna race. And that was the beginning. Never look back. Yeah, I was racing pro locally when I was 13 already. I'm here with Corinne Rivera from LaGrange. First of all, you're the only junior competing in this race, which is an accomplishment in its own. Eventually, I was doing, you know, the Nature Valleys and, and the Gila's. Just from a really early age, just living the lifestyle. Hey, Corinne. Hey, guys. Welcome to my Ritz concert. Here's our toilet, and you always need to have a phone by your toilet, because I mean, come on, what else are you gonna do while you're doing your business, your other business? Here's my suitcase. Yes. All OCD. And I'm gonna ask you something about <laughs> Corinne that nobody might know. She's really, really organized. And it's like, when you room with her, it puts pressure on you to not have a bag explosion. <laughs> organized organization. So you just completely eliminate, eliminate the chaos. So I have very high expectations for myself. Uh, this is for the gold medal. And first place is the only place I'd like to get. Oh, Corinne Rivera. Jersey number 24. Yep. Pretty excited? Yeah. Corinne collected her 25th national championship jersey today. I have won 43 national titles. I got bronze in Junior Worlds in 2010 in the road race and another bronze in the track Omnium. At that point, I was at a fork in the road whether to jump and go professionally from high school or uh, to race collegiately. And I had a pretty bad crash and 2011 at Tour Qatar, and at that point, that's where I thought, yeah, I should probably, I should probably go to school, because <laughs> this could all, all end at, at any point. I made that decision and 
would never regret that. I learned a lot about myself, a lot about cycling. All right, we're here with Corinne Rivera and Ellie Dragu. Went one, two for Marion University in the road race. Uh, was that the plan and how did it come about? The plan was to go one, two. <laughs> yeah. yeah, the plan was to win the race. Yeah, I really enjoyed that time. Now I am getting emotional. <laughs> Do you recall how many national championships Kern already had by the time you met her? Mm. I would say it was probably high 50s to 60, somewhere around there when we first met. So I met Nate at Marion University. We were both part of the cycling team there. Yeah, being able to get out on the bike together, train together, and see her have the opportunity to go race in Europe. It's amazing. As a racer, I think she's kind of a take no kind of person. It's crazy, she has a, a sprint finish like no other. Probably one of the smallest people in the Peloton, but she'll put herself right where she needs to be. She's so little, but she can do pretty much everything. Even just through my iPad, I, I, like, I would like toss my iPad in there because like I could see that she was gonna get that finish. And 2014 to 2016 with the UHC, that was like, I would, I would say my first real professional team. Throw it, Corinne, come on! And here it is, Corinne Rivera! And then made the jump to Europe full time with a world tour team with Sunweb in 2017. International Filipino-American cyclist, Nasi Corinne Rivera. Here comes the American right on the line. A lot of world tour races. Great finish there between Corinne Rivera and Mariana Voss. Ride London. It was like back to back to back. The winner of the first Vox Women Sharon Laws Road Rider of the Year Award is Corinne Rivera. Tour of Flanders. They're just about to be caught with 1,200 metres remaining and they're going to start drifting across the road right now as they go under the Flam Rouge. I was dropped. You know, I didn't think I was going to win the race. Through the centre, dead centre at the moment. Oh, it's going to be a photo on the line. Yeah, I just gave it my best. I kept going to the line and I just couldn't believe but it. It was Corinne Rivera who makes it stick here. Biggest win of her career. Probably one of my worst post-ups covering my, my face across the line, but I, I just didn't know what to do. I couldn't believe it. Fabulous, fabulous finish. Brave and well-timed, Sean. But for me, the best part was uh, seeing my dad and Nate at the finish line. He and I were, as he put it, running around like dogs after the, the race, just trying to find her. And I was in this van to go to anti-doping. I was just looking out the windows, trying to figure out where they are, and I saw them on the side in the middle of this planter. I was like, stop, stop the van, stop the van. And I hopped out and my shoes almost slipped on the way out <laughs> and my bike shoes and gave a big hug to, to Nate, my dad. And, and for me, yeah, that was a, a really special moment for me to be able to share that with them. Uh, I just love putting my hands up in the air and getting a W and whether it's for me or, or a teammate, um, I love that. And, and also helping teammates to, to learn and share what I know and what I've learned along the way as well. They're coming back, we take a right and it comes up, it goes over the Schelda and then it comes back around to the left. Mm -hmm. That's gonna be, I think, the key moment where we're like giving it gas. We need to make sure that Kristen is in front as we come off the big road going towards Willenberg. I guess I've always been someone who leads by example. I think that's something that I love doing and I feel like I'm not always the best talker, but when I'm on the bike, I can really speak volumes. Whenever we'd be at a national championship in college, like it was coming down to the last day for the criterium at like road nationals. And sometimes it's neck and neck with other schools and she would give her pep talk to the women's team and then come into the men's meeting and say, hey, we delivered, now it's your turn. And it's like, oh, sh okay. They did their part, so now it's up to us. I think I use that as a way to show that, yeah, if you want it enough, you can do it. Rivera launches the sprint, starts and strikes in 2018 to Corinne Rivera. And Corinne Lebecki will be back in starts and strikes. My message would be to not be afraid, just do it. 
What do you think? Do you like it? Yes. Do you like the red, white, and blue better though? Yeah. What'd you get me? Uh, I got your bracelet. Oh, I need it. Thank you. What's it? What's it say? A seal for Corinna Becky. Thank you. Can you hug? I think that comes from experience from all the other laps that I've done, and then uh, especially when it comes down to the finish, then it becomes a lot more crucial. But you kind of take in all the information that's happened from all the laps before, and you put it all together in the in the last few laps. So the process line for making my rice cakes are looking good. <laughs> do you remember when you did your first century? Yeah. Yeah, I was like nine years old. Yeah. I almost passed out. <laughs> no. Remember one of those guys said you will be a good rider? I don't even know what happened to be honest, but when your teammates turn themselves inside out for you and you're the sprinter, <laughs> you have to get the job done, so. your criteria of national champion. That will be a Lebecki 74th national championship after the Criterium national championship last year. Don't feel scared or ashamed because you're not one of the guys or whatever. Like, show up, sh get in their face and be like, hey, I'm here, I like riding my bike, I like racing my bike, and I'm gonna show you. I just knew that I wanted to win the race and I was gonna do whatever it took. Yeah! 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 Yes! Her mom and her sister. Congratulations! <laughs> 2024 Criterium National Champion, the 74th time atop the podium for EF Education Canada. It's going on. And even at Bucks County, I mean, I probably didn't have the best legs, but I go to the end always and give everything that I can for the team. That's the only way I know how to operate. <laughs> so that's just how I tick, that's just how I'm wired. I just feel like I'm in a good place and they always say that when you know, you know. And I felt like this year um, it, was, it was time to, to close that chapter and, and move on. I wouldn't feel that way if I didn't already accomplish so many things beforehand that I was really proud of and felt like, hey, I've put my stamp, this is it, like everything that I wanted to do here. Our, uh, you can't get the time very close to it. Yeah. <laughs> 74 <laughs> national titles and uh, a lot of good friends along the way. I'm ready to work in a Michelin restaurant in my next career. <laughs> Cheers. Cheers. <laughs> I think I had a, a dream career that most people would, would love to have. Dear Corinne, what an amazing career you've had. Massive congratulations. Congratulations, Corinne. Uh, it's been amazing to be your teammate this year and to learn from you. I remember when I first came on Sunweb and we were gonna be teammates and um, I thought you were intimidating. I wish you all of the best for your future. I am so blessed to have been shared a couple of years being teammates with you. Yeah, we had some good fights um, in the sprints in the past and I was very happy to be your teammate this year. 
when I met you, we just couldn't stop laughing together. You're a great inspiration. I hope you will be able to enjoy your retirement. I think you're one of the best teammates I've ever had. And I really have looked up to you as a leader, as a cyclist, as a person. I think you're incredible. I'm definitely going to miss you next year. I know you'll do amazing whatever you choose. I just want to say thanks for everything. Keep being an awesome crit dog. I wish you all the best. Good luck in your retirement, Corinne. Any path that you take next is lucky to have you and I will miss you terribly next year and the Peloton will miss you and your fire and your passion for the sport and uh, we hope to see you back in Europe soon. Ciao! Of course we will miss you big, big time, but um, I'm sure it's not a, a, not a, a goodbye, but see you later. <laughs> Do hard work, do you know, hard work and learn what you're doing and go far. And go far. Uh, Karim, when is your next event? Um, my next race will probably be by the end of February. February. Do you have any parting words? Uh, <laughs> <laughs> okay. Thanks for watching. I'll see you next time for the next episode of Cranked.